In this video I'm going to show you how to use the helix command in Onshape to create simple springs and other coiled shapes like this marble run. Let's start with a simple, sh uh, simple spring. This is going to have a diameter at the bottom of 60 and a height of 100. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six turns. So the way it works in Onshape is that you create a helix, a path around a cylinder. So let's start with our cylinder. In this instance, we're going to go for 60 and we're going to extrude that by 100. Once we have our shape, we can use the helix command select the shape and you can see we've now created a path on the surface of this cylinder with four turns I want six you'll notice as well you can either select number of turns or maybe the pitch or the turns and pitch so you can go as far up this cylinder as you need to you can also change the start position by rotating the point here around the base of the cylinder So I've got my path, now I need a profile which is on a plane perpendicular to the end of my path. So you see here I've drawn that on the front plane, that is where my path begins. And all I do now is sweep that profile, profile around that path. Now it's literally going to create a sweep feature, if I just add it I end up with a single part with a kind of lump around it. If I was doing a thread, that maybe would work. If I want a separate helix, I'm going to create it as a new part and then I'm going to just hide part one. So let's try a tapered shape. Same way, we're going to create a cylinder, but this time it's going to be a cylinder that with a 10 degree taper. Like so and then again we're going to use the helix command to create that path around the surface of that cone start point is here if I want to do um, turns and pitch what I can do is I can decide how many turns I want and how far up it's going to go so if I wanted two and I'm at a pitch of 20, I don't necessarily have to go all the way up my shape. I'm going to stick with turns, 6, and again I now need to create a profile that is going to start at this point and go be swept around my path. It doesn't have to be a circle, it can be any shape you want, depending on the object that you're creating. And then we simply sweep that around the path. Create it as a new and hide your original path. In this instance, I think I need to make that a bit smaller. And there I've got my helix.